Chillingworth arrives back in Boston, and only Hester knows his true identity. The townspeople think he's sent from God. Dimsdale is having health issues and refuses <laughs> to marry many young women. Oh, what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> I don't need a doctor to take care of me. Really? I think you're in need. I think I can figure it out. Really? The townspeople seem to think I'm very beneficial. What good would it do to me? It would help that deathly cough you have. Well, if it's the towns, what the townspeople want me to do, I suppose I should do it. You can be my doctor. Awesome. We're best friends. <laughs> long, walk to, long, long walk to the beach. Woo. Hold my hand. Hold my hand. Long and we hand. live together. Yay. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> You know, it seems as if Dinsdale is keeping a large secret from me. Okay. okay. All right. Where, my kind doctor, did you gather those herbs with such a dark, flabby leaf? I found them in the graveyard upon an unmarked tomb of a sinful soul. What does that mean? A man was buried there with a secret. A large secret. Some men bury their secrets thus. True, there are such men, but not to suggest more obvious reasons. It may be that they are kept silent by the very constitution of their nature. They go about among their fellow creatures looking pure as new fallen snow, while their hearts are all speckled and spotted with inquiry inquity of which they cannot rid themselves. These men deceive themselves. They fear to take up the shame that rightfully belongs to them. Their love for man, their zeal for God's service. These holy impulses may or may not coexist in their hearts with the evil inmates to which their guilt has unbarred the door and which must needs propagate a hellish breed within them. It may be so. And then Hester and I think it's Hester and Pearl. Come away, mother, come away, or yonder old black man will catch you. He hath got hold of the minister already. Come away, mother, or he will catch you. But he cannot catch little Pearl. Well, Pearl, get off of those tombstones. The graveyard's fun. Okay, let's go, come on. <laughs> As your physician, I think it'd be good for you to confess any sins or any ill thoughts that you might have on your mind, Dimsdale. I have none. Are you sure? If I confess everything, then the townspeople will look down upon me. I'm supposed to be their pure figure. But I think that your sickness may have something to do with your untold sin. It does not! Then, like this emotional outburst. He acts so passionately. <laughs> I'm very sorry. I shouldn't have acted the way I did. Let's be friends again. Yay! <laughs> Dimsdale fell into a deep sleep in which Chillingworth used to his advantage to get. The secret. Chillingworth ripped open Dinsdale's clothes to expose his bare chest. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Is that it? I'm <laughs> sorry. Hang on, okay, we'll just.
do it like this. In chapter 9 of The Scarlet Letter, Robert Chillingworth comes to Boston, but no one recognizes him but Hester. Tune in next time to see who's the baby daddy. <laughs>